Thanks to Rich for that. And that does it for the News at 10. Next on the KTLA 5 News at 11, a frantic day at the beach after a shark attack sends a teenager to the hospital. How witnesses describe the terrifying moment. Also, you may have seen this rumor circulating on social media about a very spooky asteroid that's flying past the Earth just in time for Halloween. But are the rumors true? We'll set the record straight. That's coming up on the News Now at 11. Now at 11, a community left in mourning after a hit and run driver claims the life of a young girl. Plus, Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court battle continues as the FBI investigates sexual assault allegations made by a second woman. And a day at the beach turns into a parent's worst nightmare after a shark sends a boy to the hospital. Now on the news at 11. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Casey Montoya in for Courtney Friel tonight. A boy bitten by a shark in San Diego County is fighting for his life tonight. Yeah, fellow swimmers came to his rescue even as the shark was still tailing him. And as KTLA 5's Elizabeth Espinosa reports tonight, we're hearing from one of the swimmers who helped bring this boy to safety. Rick and Casey, it's unclear if it was a great white shark. Now, witnesses have described the shark as being about 11 feet long. Now, the boy was in the ocean free diving on the first day of lobster season. 13-year-old boy was attacked by a shark. 7 a.m. 